Joined alongside by WEC featherweight standout Javier Vasquez, this Saturday, live and only on the Versus Network, he goes head-to-head -head with Jen's Little Evil Pulver. Javi, big fight this weekend. I know it's a matchup that you've been looking forward to for quite some time. Jens Pulver, Javier Vasquez, WEC 47, great crowd, Nationwide Arena, Columbus, Ohio. Your thoughts on your fight? Uh, I'm real excited. Like you said, I've been waiting for this fight a real long time, almost you know nine years. I've been wanting to compete against them. Nothing personal against the guy, but just somebody that uh, I've looked up to and been wanting to compete against for a real long time. Javi, how important of a fight is this? I know you've been talking about this is the biggest fight of your career. You're on a two-fight losing streak, but how big is this fight for you? Um, I mean, it's definitely important. Uh, you know, because of the two losses I had, even though they were real close, um, I think this win could put me right back where I was supposed to be had I won my two fights. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a big fight in, in my career, definitely uh, big t uh, towards taking uh, steps forward towards a title shot. Fighting on the big stage is something that you, you know a little bit, but Jens Pulver is a veteran over and over and over again. How are you going to be able to compensate for his experience? Just fight, fight my fight. I think uh, fighting up to my potential will solve all the problems. I mean, I'm not, not going to get intimidated and don't get scared of big crowds. I mean, like I said, I've been doing this just as long as he has, you know, so um, have him go intimidate somebody else, you know. Do you feel that this is your grand moment to shine, to finally show the entire world this is what Javier Vasquez is all about, this is what I've been training for for my entire life, and this is my moment to show the world what exactly I'm made out of? You're making me nervous talking <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, I definitely think that this is, this is it. This is the big stage for me. I think... Um, you know, a lot of people know, oh, yeah, I hear he's good, I hear he's good. And then they see my first two fights maybe, and they go, mm, well, you know, he, he's okay. But, yeah, if, I think I, I went through a real good camp. And, um, you know, like I said, if I fight the way I'm supposed to fight, people will be impressed. He's on a four-fight losing streak. Out of those four fights, I'm sure you've been able to see some flaws that he made during the course of those four losses in the WEC. What are some things that you feel you can pick apart this Saturday? You know, um, yeah, he's lost, but he, he's lost to some really good guys, you know. Um, so I think a lot of people are real tough on him. It just so happens. He, I mean, he could have had fights in between that he probably could have gotten some wins, but he went from one good guy right to another good guy right to another good guy. So, I mean, he's fighting some pretty high-level guys. Um, as far as what I've seen, I mean, I, I know what he's good at. I know where he's not good or not as good as, you know. I know his ground isn't as good as his stand-up. I know my ground is better than my stand-up, you know, so, I mean, I just, um, I'm going to try to put the fight where I'm strong and he's weak. Now, getting it there is going to be the problem. Getting it there is going to be the whole, the whole, um, you know. The issue. The issue, you know. Can I take him down? And can I take him down consistently? I think once I get him down, you know, problems will solve themselves. Just, you know, I kind of go into autopilot. But getting him there is always going to be the problem. And I know he doesn't want to go down. I know he wants to knock my, my head off. And, um... You know, I'm going to try to not let that happen. How much have you focused on your boxing? As you talked about, he does not want to fight the go to go to the ground, something that you're all too familiar with. But what have you been doing boxing-wise and striking-wise to prepare for the onslaught that can possibly be Jens Pulver? Well, see, the thing is, is guys have to fight me or have been fighting me a, a certain way. If, if guys get too overly aggressive and they start to attack me too much, they get taken down. If guys sit back and don't throw anything, I pick them apart. So, you know, it's finding that, that fine middle ground. You know, I think my stand-up is underrated. I think I'm better than most people think. Guys will stand with me and they go, wow, he's better than I thought. You know, either that or I just didn't have a good night. You know, one or the other. But it just so happens I think I'm better than I thought, better than most people think I am. So he might be surprised with it, and um, like I said, I can mix it up. I'm not a boxer. I'm a, I'm a mixed martial artist and a jiu-jitsu specialist, so I'm, I mix my style up well, and, um, you know, hopefully if I do things right, he's not going to know what the hell I'm doing. Do you relish the role of being the underdog in the fight, possibly? Yeah, it's always better. It's easier. It's always easier, you know. I'm going to get booed. You know, people are going to be cheering for him. Everything he throws, they're going to go crazy. Everything I throw, they're going to boo. So I'm already – I've been – you know, I've been in the game a long time. I've already experienced this kind of deal before. Maybe not so many people, but quite a few people, you know. So um, I just kind of go into autopilot. I, I'm not going to try to let it bother me, um, you know. I'm the underdog, but I'm favored by a lot of people. So I'm just going to go out there and try to implement my game plan and try to block everything else out. Sort of a tale of two worlds. Can you give me a prediction for your fight against Jens Pulver this weekend, Javi? I think... Um, 
I don't think it's going to be an easy fight. I definitely think it's going to be a tough fight. He's going to fight tooth and nail to, you know, to not lose his fifth straight. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail to not lose my third straight. So uh, if, um, if I fight up to my potential, I think, I think he's going to have a rough night. Have a good luck. We look forward to seeing you fight this Saturday. Thank you. Javier Vasquez, WEC featherweight standout, joining us.